newcomer take a name. Definitely my favorite of the up and comers. This is gonna be sick. Joker and Greninja. Very good. Cherry Pong was waiting very patiently for um, Joker to be released. He played Shulk and someone else before. I forgot how he played other than Shulk. But as soon as Joker dropped, 100% Joker main. Yeah. Immediate switch. Stuck with it. I remember he told me like a week or two out. He's like, oh, I'm just waiting for Joker. Realistically. He got what he wanted. So I'm glad Joker ended up not being awful. That would have been uh, heartbreaking, I think, for Chirapon. I think Churro plays really high at this first tournament. Yeah, Churro... Um, 192, I think. Yeah, he made it quite deep, and he ended up playing... Uh, top 16? Something like that. He played Nick on stream, and it was a very close set. Yeah, top um, 16. It was crazy. I should remember that from, from setting up the scratch. Yet. I think it was one of the best um, first tournament performances I've ever seen. If not, straight up, the best first tournament performance I've ever seen. It was very impressive. Whole crowd was cheering for him. And then Vi here. Vi is a... Uh, very old, old... He's old school. And he's a dead school. But... He's old school and he's a loyal Greninja player. Oh, and I love yeah. him for it. He's his place is like... He's he getting... He really like, like, get it, get in, get out. Really... Quick on his... his That's no... Personas, man, don't know. I remember watching, there was a fairly tongue in cheek video I saw about the Joker series of just kill them again after you get a kill with uh, Arsene out. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he's still got it. And rather than worrying about losing it and getting it back again, just get two stocks real quick. Then, <laughs> Chiro trying to do that, not quite, but getting close to it. Yeah. Um, Zai really it's wants hovering to within. Someone said um, that um, it's it's hovering between the best. Um, it, Joker suddenly suddenly turned from the worst to best character in the game. Yeah. Character in the game. I don't know if he starts off as the worst, but he definitely he's definitely not um, nice player there. Jumping over the um, the the click from Joker and getting the four there for it, but he's got a lot of ground to catch back up. But Zai, I trust to have the top player adaptation and to not get flustered. Yeah. So I think this is a, this will win for a good set here and a long one. But yeah, definitely Joker starts off as a fairly mediocre character without our set. Um, I think that recovery is dodgy. Yeah. Ooh. Just oh. eating those up as falling gun. Hit the right to, to do the up air uh, uh, up the heel. Now, oh, that's pretty large. I'm always kind of interested to see how different players have been dealing with the Arsene getting spawned. Some players opt to just camp it out, try and wait the 30 seconds, and just not engage Is with that it. 30 seconds? I believe it's 30 seconds, yeah. Um, but then other players just be like, pretend it's not there, try and keep the momentum. I kind of like that option. I think that's what I was going for. And to be honest, I think it worked out for him for the most part. He didn't die while Arsene was active. And he didn't really camp him out or change his, um, his momentum at all. Before they had this clank with that click, Arsene back already. Oh, but goodbye Arsene. Nice confirm there, forward air. And that's, that's exactly what we want, because now he didn't have to deal with the Arsene at all. We've got a completely even game right now. It's like the game to start. Yeah, dismissed Arsene really early. Not you just hit him up. You have to go home now. Back to your world. We'll see you again in a bit. But I don't want to see you right now. Let's take the neutral. Come out here. Jokon throwing out a lot of side beams, but not getting a lot connected. Drag down, but not getting the follow up. There's a side beam, technically. Oh. They have to go, yeah, what's the punish? No, oh. <laughs> just releases him. Too many pummels. Of course, as soon as I mention how he's not hitting the side beams, he starts hitting everyone. Uh, there's that damn um, the flash of us and the most distracting thing in the game. Why is that? I think it only happens if he's not pressing any buttons or holding the stick in any direction. So if you're in full neutral when you get our send, it does a big flash. Forward smash will seal it out. That kills. 
That'll kill. Our sense broken. Mid stays. Pretty good percent. And then, yeah, our sense on deck. That'll definitely kill. This is, this is awesome. Okay. I, he I heard Zai say, actually, and think about it for a sec. He's going to stay the Joker. I mean, going to stay Greninja, but no. Nah, second guess. What if he's Sheik? I am very excited for this. I've been playing a bit of Sheik myself on the side. I love this character to death. So fun to play, so fun to watch. And he was also one, uh, Zai is also one of the OG Sheiks back at Smash 4. It was pretty... Oh, the drag down was beautiful there, the forward tilt. Just keep him there. Is it, uh, unfortunately, falling off the edge there, but... That much combo, it's for 50%. Yeah, I mean... All that... It looks damn cool there, blood. and I respect that. <laughs> yes, all that... Yeah, down to the fish right there. So, this is a scary situation, because I don't know actually how Sheik really deals with the uh, Arsene. I feel like just running up and trying to use your tilts is pretty scary to be in our sense space. Oh, just dashing it, jumping over there and getting the board to Baiting back on the bouncing fish to bait Chiro out and getting back to Lady. Very smart. I'm trying to cover the ledge grab there. Throwing out the near hitbox. Didn't work. Take Chase the wrong way. Uh, I'd like to ask Shy after the set to uh, see what his motivation was for pulling out the Sheik. Sheik did getting buffed in 2.0, but um, I didn't think they were going to be the difference to make her playable. I think quite frankly, I don't think they are. I think Sheik is still a struggling character. She needs more damage. Maybe. Yeah, she needs more something. But the buffs did help a lot. The needles and the fair hitting lower is very good. They make fair chaining across the stage. Almost a viable thing again. Definitely more than it used to be. Actually going high. No punch to either side. Oh! He's back. I thought he was dead. Big green Rika. Oh, I got scared. This is a very different pace to uh, the first game. I think we've gone through two full Arsene cycles and no one's taken stuff yet. This he is was a trying to, to kill off kill off the left. Um, tether. Right. Very smart, but not the perfect timing. That is classic kind of cheat can't kill. Yeah. Sheik just struggle to kill forever. Yep. Nair will do it though. Finally. 180%. Oh. Well earned, that's for sure. Definitely worked hard for it. But Sheik's very slippery and very fast, so while she doesn't kill very easily herself, it's hard to catch her and get a strong hit on her. There you go, Dance Smash coming out. Very quick reaction from Chiro there. Oh. Building for the bully. So Zai is definitely one to not respect the Arsene too much. He wants to go in. He definitely um, pays a bit closer attention to his spacing when Arsene's out. Um, playing a little bit safer. But he wants to stay in the cave, he wants to keep up the momentum. That's oh. Predicting the roll in and not the tech there, but not getting a punish for it. It's very hard for have to rack on the damage button. And now they're almost even again. Ooh. Describing. Fourth match of Sheik. Oh. It oh, lasts yeah. a long time. I think it's like 80 frames or something crazy. We're back at um, the second R send. Yeah. Second R send on, on yeah. the stock. We're averaging about two and a half per stock. That's a lot of R sends. Like, just run off and do it. Four there will take it. Now, Zara's going to be wanting to take this stock pretty quick. 
But if he can survive out this arson right now, he's got a bit of time to play with. No, it won't kill. Um, next one might if he's still up in the air. Poor tilt, not comboing into it anymore. The forward smash option from Sheik is actually... Ooh. Yeah, Joker's gun is pretty annoying. It is, it's annoying, but it's not really guaranteed. It's just annoying effect as well. Yeah. Forward smash coming out, covering the roll from ledge. Yeah, because if it hits, it, it really interrupts your um, after kill, kill attempt. you got to be mindful of it. You don't miss input because of being reset from the gun. He's playing like us. Like yeah, he doesn't care. And uh, um, something, oh. something that's nice about playing a character like Sheik into the Arsene is that Chiro can throw out that ridiculous counter, but you're countering a 3% move. It's like, eh, you counter my fair. I, I'm, I'm not that upset about it. It's not like you're countering a strong, meaty move from a top tier character. Just counting a little poke. You kind of have to worry about the counter as much. You don't have to get worried about being blown up by it. If so I can get back here, he's going to probably try and be looking for the needle bouncing fish. I think he was looking for it at that first off stage situation. But he didn't have the needles charged. Bag down. And there, oh, covering the air dodge with the forge mash. Very good there. Force well, doesn't kill, but it's a very smart player. Ledge, nice angle. Well, this has been uh, a long game. He, he's stalling until he, he gets us in. Of course, no, he's got it. It was very close. That's Whoa. nearly gonna kill. Yeah, it's it'll kill at like 160. Good angle, Tim. That's back air, and that's the dead sheep. <laughs> Jesus. That, th if I ever needed to see a game to show that Chiro's gotten over, or at least getting over his tawny nerves, there's that one. Yeah. I could, I would struggle to think of a more nerve-wracking game. And Chiro was able to keep very calm then. I think that was the main thing that was plaguing him in his early tournaments, is that he had all the skill in the world, but he would just um, oh. get a bit flustered, get a bit nervous. So that was very respectable, being able to keep his cool there. Also, it's especially very um, damaging to your, ma um, your mental strength when you just see Sheik calming you up yeah. time after time. Just keep calming, even though it's small percent, but it, it kind of... It doesn't feel good. You want to play the game. That's some me sense yeah. of message that I got. I absolutely agree with that. And if it's and if you're not someone with a strong mental game, it's you you be, you 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 then play very scared. Um, scared. You play like you just ate a seventy percent combo when you probably really didn't. No, you just ate a twenty percent yeah. combo, but you, you it feels like you ate something much worse. Well, was I just going back to the good intro? Um, the I don't know. I think the Sheik actually uh, was working out all right, but I think Chuo was getting pretty used to it by the end of it, and probably going back to the Greninja was a smart choice from Zai here. I think he will probably have an easier time. I think the biggest thing with this matchup is that you want to seal out those stocks. You don't want to let him loop these Arsens. Especially when, if he takes the stock on you first, the worst case scenario is that he takes a stock with a fresh Arsen or just before he gets it. And then you enter a fresh stock and take 40% of your time for free. So having a character that can more easily seal out um, those stocks, I think is probably better for this matchup than playing something like Sheik, which struggles quite a lot. Nice side be there catching him. Right before or right after Arsene. Right before or right after Arsene. Mm. Arsene pops up. Oh. Very hard to see here. I don't know if 
I don't know what confirms. Yeah, he'll get it pretty much any second. There it is. I don't know. Ooh, that'll kill, yeah. Why well, at least that's all he needed. I don't know what confirms. Yeah, th this is a kind of situation. This is a situation you, you don't want. Um, but Greninja's a better character for Sheik for dealing with it because he'll be able to feel it out. Hopefully, more easy. Oh, there's the cutter. Yeah, I don't think he's got one yet. But here you go. 60% for your time. And nearly a soft for it too. It's back. Huge hitbox. Okay. So yeah, it's like you... Oh, that's... You, you're almost at death percent. Percent. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You're almost back at death percent. Well, you are back at death percent. Half match is going to kill. There's the, I was trying. I was going to say before. I wasn't sure what confirms the workout machine. But I guess that's one. Up two. Side playing from the full stuff behind now. It's going to be pretty difficult. He's going to look. Yeah, he's going to want to go for stuff like that. He's going to want to try and get a early kill off the edge. A nice skip. Nice him back on deck already. Got grab. Ooh, jumping into his arms. Drag down. Oh, but he fell off the platform. He probably didn't know what he was wanting. And forward air will seal it out with Arsene for yeah. sure. The Chiro is insane and there is no other word for it. Representing the, the BAM crew, not to be confused with Battle Arena Melbourne. Um, Chiro, what does it stand for again? Faster move. 